certainly in this situation, um, uh, we, we didn't do what's best for kids. The superintendent of St. John's County Public Schools says he's disappointed in the decision to alter yearbook photos and he is promising more oversight. This is a story we first told you about last week as dozens of female students at Bartram Trail High School say that their school photos were doctored because their appearances were considered too provocative. And tonight on your side's Robert Bradfield is speaking with the superintendent about the apology he wants parents to hear and the changes he's making in the editing process. They are photos St. John's County School Superintendent Tim Forson says did not need fixing, but dozens of pictures were altered in Bartram Trail High School's yearbook. There may be circumstances where it wouldn't be an appropriate picture. Uh, the, the, the editing that took place here is probably um, probably not at that level. Forsen is apologizing for the actions made by the school's yearbook sponsor, who was the only one to decide which photos should have been tweaked, believing they violated the dress code. It's not our intent uh, to, to embarrass or, or, to, or to, to shame any, any particular student, but certainly uh, what we intended and what the result is are two different things. Forsen says the school district will implement new guidelines about any future decisions to edit photos and who looks them over before it goes to print. That process could include several staff members and the principal. Forsen says the employee will not face discipline. We need to be better and we need to support uh, her and how we move forward with it, but it's not something that would cause discipline or or employee discipline. There will not be a reprint this year. However, the school is offering refunds. Forsen says the district looks over and discusses the dress code each year. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side. Robert, and the school board has a workshop scheduled for tomorrow morning. Parents plan on showing up to the meeting and also tuning in online. It's scheduled to start at 9 a.m. and we will be following what comes out of it.